If those facial expressions are familiar to you, you probably talk about complicated things with people and they might not always understand what you mean. My name is Maya Dolgan, I'm the founder of Braver Me, and today we'll be talking about how to simplify complicated information. Your job as a speaker is to make your audience's life as simple as possible. You want them to feel at ease, you want them to feel in the know, and you want them to understand what you're talking about. So number one, know your audience. Do your homework and find out what their level of background is so that you know how familiar they are with what it is you'll be talking with them about. Which leads us to number two. If you've done your homework, you'll know how to define your terminology. If you're using jargon, for example, such as GDP per capita, and the audience has a high level of background in economics, you don't need to define it. But if you're talking to a more general audience, you'd probably want to say GDP per capita or income per person or you might want to say GDP per capita, which is basically the measure of wealth for a country. Either of those, you'd want to let your audience know that you'll be using the term interchangeably with GDP per capita. And if you have a PowerPoint, you can put it up on the screen. And number three, use metaphors and analogies. When I arrived in Israel and I took a microeconomics course in Hebrew, I'll never forget that the professor described complementary demand by saying that if you eat more hummus, you're going to need more pitot. Simple to understand and it stuck with me till today. So number one, know your audience. Number two, define your jargon. And number three, use metaphors or analogies. If this is helpful with you, then share this video with your colleagues who also present research findings, data analysis, or some kind of complicated technologies with different kinds of audiences. And you can follow Braver Me on Facebook and on LinkedIn.